Hi, I'm Sidesh Patel, a senior technical marketing architect at Omnisa. In this video, I will be demonstrating Intelligent Hub's device and quick action feature. We will take a look as to how these features make an end user self-reliant and limit the dependency on IT team to fix challenges faced on an enrolled device. For this demonstration, we'll be using an enrolled Windows device. To begin with, let's start with Hub Actions. Hub Actions are means for an end user to carry out critical and non-critical actions. The critical actions would allow end users to carry out actions such as enterprise wipe, delete device, while the non-critical actions would provide end users access to find device, change device passcode, and clear device passcode. To enable Hub Actions, navigate to Hub Service Configuration page. Within the Workspace ONE Hub Service Configuration page, select Employee Self Service and edit the Device Self Service settings. Under the Actions tab, enable Critical Actions and Non-Critical Actions. Click on Done once you have enabled these settings. Save the settings. Now let's take a look as to how the end user views the Hub Actions on an enrolled device. Launch Intelligent Hub on an enrolled device. Select Support. Within Support, you should see all the devices which are currently enrolled by the end user. Select the device. In here, you should find all the device actions under the Actions tab. To showcase how Hub Actions enable an end user to be self-reliant, let's consider a scenario where an end user has multiple devices enrolled to Workspace ONE. One being a Windows 10 device, which is corporate owned, and the other being an Android device, which is a personal phone. For this example, let's consider that the user has either lost or misplaced their Windows device. In order to help secure this device, the user would typically reach out to the IT team and the IT team would track the device and carry out required actions. Now the time taken for the overall process might not be sufficient for the device to be in a secure state. To help the situation by providing an end user access to such critical actions like enterprise wipe or lock device could drastically reduce the time taken for carrying out these actions which could safeguard the device considering these situations. Now let's take a simple example of lock device. By clicking on lock device and selecting lock device again, your device which is stolen could be locked immediately. Now let's take a look at quick actions. Quick Actions is a feature which empowers end users to run custom workflows on an enrolled device to help resolve common issues faced by end users such as Wi-Fi connectivity, shortage of disk space, or even slowness of a browser. To enable Quick Actions for an end user, an administrator will have to create workflows on the UEM console. Now let's consider a scenario where an end user uses Chrome application to access company apps. Now, in the last few weeks, the user is facing issues with Chrome slowness. For this situation, an administrator will navigate to orchestration on the UEM console and create a workflow for pushing a script, which will actually help clear the cache of the Chrome application. In order to do so, create a new workflow on the UEM console. Give a name for the workflow. Select the platform. Also identify which smart group the user belongs to and assign it to the specific smart group which is applicable for the affected users. Make sure the deployment is set to show an intelligent hub. Provide a name. Upload an icon which is 
easy to be identified for the end user also a description can be provided but this is an optional setting select the action as script in order to select the script which you want the uh, to be executed by the end user in order to help fix the issue faced on the chrome application make sure that the script is uploaded onto the uem console prior to configuring the workflow click on publish and click on publish again once you have the workflow created on the uem console navigate to the workspace one hub service configuration page within the workspace one hub service configuration page select employee self service and edit the device self service settings here under the quick actions tab you should see add quick actions and enter the workflow name which you have created on the UEM console. Select the workflow created and complete the configurations by selecting done and saving the settings. Now let's take a look as to how the end user views the quick action within the intelligent hub. The user will have to navigate onto the support tab and select the device under the actions tab we will find the quick action available so the user here can carry out a task by running the quick actions by simply clicking on install once the quick action has executed successfully the status changes from an install to a reinstall state in this manner the end user has an understanding that the quick action has successfully completed